Well, I'm sorry to say, but the situation when it comes to illegal migration via small boats across from France, the situation is escalating even further, as it has been now for a number of years. Yesterday, uh, another record day. It was 1,185 people in a single day yesterday crossing the channel. 33, that's right, more than 30 small boats intercepted by Border Force and RNLI. Nearly 1,200 people coming across via this route in a single day. And I think it's really important as ever to consider the context here because the numbers that I have from the research I've done is that in 2018, it was 297 people coming across via this route in a single year. 2019, it was 1,850. In 2020, it then quadrupled to just over 8,400 people. And that was a quadrupling on the year before. And we've now seen over 20 thousand people so far this year the numbers are surging the situation is getting more and more dangerous virtually by the week the answer that we seem to have pursued so far is giving the french government more money giving them more british funding uh, and hoped that they'd get a handle on this well to give this context for what we're getting for our money in terms of handing the resources over to the french just look at this figure from simon jones 1,200 crossing the channel on 33 boats. The French authorities intercepted 99 people. So 1,200 people came across and the French stopped about 100. It's pitiful. This whole strategy of relying on the French to get their act together, giving them more money and hoping they're going to get a handle on this, that has comprehensively and totally failed. Now, of course, the British government not very happy with the French on this. Pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, said to be furious at the French approach. A white horse source quoted by the Telegraph as saying, the French government failed in their duty to protect life and to uphold the joint agreement to stop small boats leaving France. They let hundreds of people potentially set sail to their death whilst only stopping a couple of boats. The major factor here is that virtually anyone who comes across via this route is allowed to stay at the moment. Very few people are ever deported. The situation is likely to continue to escalate. As I said, I've already laid out how this has escalated over the last few years. Now fears that the Polish border crisis could also fuel the migrant surge across the channel. And instead of giving France more money, what I suggest and what I've suggested before is we start fining them for every boat uh, they fail to stop. Of course, we've seen evidence of the French authorities just being on the beaches watching this go on at times. Let's start fining the French very heavily. And if they don't want to pay the fines, seeing as they've been so keen to kick off uh, over fishing licenses uh, when the UK has generously uh, granted about 96% of applications, the French authorities aren't going to stop this going on. And not only should we be fining the French government, we should also look at revoking French fishing licenses. Let me know what you make of this situation, guys. I know some mainstream media don't want to talk about this at all, but it is completely and utterly spiralled out of control. I will keep bringing you all the very latest, so do make sure you have hit subscribe and the bell, guys. And as ever, thanks so much for watching.